Um, <laughs> Somebody obviously I have, really bad. I have uh, five key points left. Wow, you have a lot more than I knew you even had in total, so that's cool. In a second. Hmm. All right. So, where is my little clock thing? There it is. Uh, looks like we ended on Solaris' turn. There we go. Okay, so Solaris is going to actually try to get up to Talos. Um, is there like a way he could just jump there with his uh, 45 feet of movement if dash, if I need to? Um, hold on, let me... Making a comment back to Rangor. Uh, let's see what is our current. Hi. You got 20 feet to the castle, roughly. We're gonna say at least 20, 30 feet high, so that's 50 feet. But you have to do that last 30 feet at half move. I think is the way D and D five it goes. So 30. 60 feet to climb the mount or the castle plus your 20 feet of movement. So, yeah, you could probably dash up that. All right. So, I'm going to actually burn a key point to do step of the wind to just get up there. So, that's uh, 90 feet of movement. That should probably work. All right. Am I up there now? Yes. And his tail is right there, and I'm next to him. Right next to him, and Salhani's fire spirit. All right. I'm going to use my action to actually grab Talos's arm. Okay. So, All right, so I'm going to roll athletics, strength. right? Yeah. You do athletics for you, but he's got to do strength. All right. Oh. That is horrible. That's good because he rolled a nineteen. Ah, oh, yeah, that's for uh, acrobatics. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's a thirteen. Okay, so you do not, or your action does not uh, allow you to grapple him. All right. All right. Took you long enough. <laughs> One member she's and uh. Just in time. All right, Peter, your turn. Yep. Just doing his death save. Oh, fine. oh man. Hey, I win. <laughs> All right, that's one success. My, my turn. Steam effort. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, wait. I wish I was a mercy monk. <laughs> so you could just kill him and give him mercy. <laughs> oh. This Mephit's going to uh. attack Selhani because it's the closest thing to her. Eight misses. Mitsu, it's your turn. I thought the Mephits were on our side. Am I wrong? Uh, Rangor they died. Yeah. So well, I went sure. down. I no longer Rangor. have allies. Wait, Ringor is down or like okay. was down. I think he was brought back up, but he was down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Down. So because of that, his methods now attack us. His methods are just attacking anything randomly, whatever's close. Fantastic. Okay. Um They have like five hit points. I don't Yeah, but don't they explode? <laughs> yes. Only when they die. Yeah, that's, that's kind of die. important. <laughs> <laughs> oh my That's God. two death saves for me. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, I'll be fine. Right. Healing spirit, I'm gonna put it right on Peter. Woo. Okay. <laughs> That's good. If not, I'll have two. to use my turn to bandage him up. If I back two up. health. Oh, uh, you got two health. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> And we'll uh, draw a pretty little icon for it. And I'll even put it in the green. shape of a panther. 
Yes, in the shape of a panther that looks like a square. Okay. That's fine. Is that the end of your turn, or are you doing anything else? Uh... Can I still fire one shot? I'm trying to remember. How does that spell cast? Is it a bonus action to cast your spell? Double checking. It is a bonus action. Awesome! And it is concentration, so... Ha! Wait, what am I... Darn it, hold on. Give me a sec. The wrong thing was pulled up. Yes, bonus action, and it's not concentration, so never mind. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I will shoot at Talos, because I hate Talos. Oh, actually, hold on. Don't we have some guys down here? Mm -hmm. Over by Camille. There's multiple people, and there's two next to Camille, and there's uh, three more near the castle. Oh, shoot. These guys next to Wisp. That's right. Oh, they're everywhere. This okay, is uh, um, your fault. How is it my fault? You what did I do? Sohani. Uh, Everybody knows you're the Sahani Whisperer. Yeah, Sahani <laughs> hasn't listened to me for a while now. I'm going to attack that one. That's probably also your fault. Somehow you lost her ear. Hold on. Roll it's 20 right. is acting weird. I can't. Who wants to play Wisp when she's done? I guess I can. All right. You can play Wisp. Hold on. I think my roll 20 just glitched out. I believe it. I'm just going to roll a die. Okay. <laughs> it like, you know how when you double click it, it turns into like a little invisible thing. Well, I unclicked. I did that again and it's invisible and now it won't. Register. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Here, so I am gonna just. Oh. I believe I have plus eight to my. Oh, look! I finally loaded. I rolled. Just a sec. Oh, fuck you. Laptops being annoying. Thirteen to hit, and twenty-two to hit. Um, the dwarves have sixteen hit points, so the second one hits, or sixteen AC. So Hooray! My sister did not level up. Silly sister. You can talk to her about that, or do it for her, whichever she says. Only eight damage. Okay, he takes eight damage. Now you said it's this uh, one guy above Wisp. To the right of Wisp. To the right of Wisp. Okay. Okay, so go. she's still in rage, right? Mhm. Mm Probably. Rage, and then she's going to use her D two X twice. One hit. Nineteen and fourteen. One hits. That one that hits will get the ancestral uh, protectors. Okay. So um, let me just put in the damage. Twenty one. Ooh. Damn. And that's plus two. Uh, my rage, which is uh, plus again. Um. Two. How I much think. is rage at level six? Two is it? Okay. Plus ancestral protection. Oh no, that's only for later on. Okay. Yeah, and he'll get disadvantage. So he has minus 23. Okay. And that's which guy? Um, Which one has the most health? Or oh, least health. You want to kill the, off that one first. Oh, uh, the least health is the one that Mitsu just attacked to the right, which in this case would probably kill him. Okay, yeah. Kill the dude. Okay. And then, uh, I don't think I can do anything else, right? I don't think she also does anything else other than whack of people. So yeah, I guess that's it. Yep, that's usually what she does. 
All right, Rangor. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, slap Peter's foot because that's what Oh, wait, hold on. Um, Didn't Riv say that she needed to add to her roles, to her attack roles, because something, something? I don't remember what exactly it was, but I remember rage she, that she was adding. She was adding rage originally. Was it rage damage? As far as I know. Okay. Not to the attack roles. I thought it was to I, the attack roles. We were talking about danger sense. Dang. You could do reckless attack, which gives you advantage. Right, yeah. I think that's why it has mm. that advantage right now. Minus. And then range damage just adds like two additional damage. I think. Uh, At the moment, okay. I think I it's only two damage. The... I just remember that she was adding stuff, so. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, the best, best I see. Okay. Rangor, you tap Peter's foot. Yep. Tap Peter's foot and do uh, cure wounds, uh, level two. So you should be getting 17. Okay. 17. That's Thank pretty you. good health. Mm -hmm. Do you have a bonus action or move that you're going to do? Yep. I am going to go ahead and... Can I stand up and do a cantrip? Shh. Or is it one of the others? If it's a bonus action cantrip, you can. It's not or a bonus action wild shape. He could do that too. Yeah. Me. Yep. I was hoping to just cast a spell, but eh, that works too. I'll go ahead and wild shape into my bear. Okay. I don't even need to stand up and do that. And I guess it's Dark Iron Guard's turn to swing at Wisp. Two strikes, 12 on the low end. I think that just barely misses her, if I'm not mistaken. No, that hits her. Wow, she has no AC. We need to get Wisp AC. Yeah. <laughs> we <Yeah>. tried. <laughs> With Eight, the helmet. <laughs> nine. Oh. Yeah, so, she's gone. No, she takes half damage. All right, right. So seven damage total. Seven life left. Wrist is hurt. The steam method next to her moves up and tries to attack the guy that just attacked you. It horribly misses. Camille's turn. Discord go crazy. Uh, let's see. We'll have Camille bite the guy to the right. Okay. That does hit for five damage. And yeah, you can only hit once. Okay. And I will have him fly up 15 feet. So same spot, but up 15 feet. So he's not like directly next to him. Okay, so we're going to shoot him. He, he takes five damage and then you fly into the air. Yes. Okay. Ethan's turn. Okay. So, um, Ethan does not know that Telos is there per se, but I remember you saying that he was laughing loudly and like doing the mohahaha whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to assume yeah. that Ethan's going to turn his head and notice like, oh, is that? Um, <laughs> can I say one thing? Uh-oh. Uh -huh. I mean... Ethan probably saw Talos laughing and then saw him shoot down Rangor and then also Peter. Oh. Well, from where Ethan's oh, yeah. standing, the building's facing the wrong direction. So 
he probably heard him laughing or whatever he was doing, but does not oh, necessarily shoot into him. Heard them laugh. And if he looks up, he would see the exact out. thing. Yes, exactly. at yeah. that point. But, I mean, you could put two and two together, but you didn't visually see it was Tilo shooting them. Okay. It's very implied. It very implied. <laughs> and I accept that. That's Talos. But sometimes that matters to Ethan, so I have to make sure that those are put in place. Clarification. Yeah. Yeah, I need to know how angry and upset and disturbed he is. So I guess in this case, he would see two of his friends go down, step outside for a bit, try to figure out where the arrow is coming from. Then he will be able to see Telos as well as uh, Solaris trying to hit him, right? Yeah. Possibly. Awesome. Okay, so Ethan is going to blame every single thing that happened here on Telos <laughs> because Telos has been known to be a bad influence on things. <laughs> So everything that's going wrong is because of Tilos now. I mean, Tilos kind of is everything is. wrong in the world. Yeah. He just needs to die. Yeah. Oh, shit. And because... Sorry, I just and hit my head. Yes. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so he's going to call up his good doggy that he can, that will go <laughs> up to him. The dog that chews solo. Is, is that the dog we're referring to? The Digman dog. Yes. <laughs> the dog. Just remember, your dog Digman has to still be able shuffle. to climb the building. It's a mm -hmm. demon hound. It's huge, isn't it? Isn't that what we discussed? Yes. It was like, yes, yeah. Yes, we did discuss it. I'm just saying, it's still going to have to climb the building. Awesome. So when you address where you spawn it and everything else, it's got to climb. Awesome. Okay, so it can spawn it as far as... Where is it, right? With an unoccupied space 30 feet, correct? So I'm going to take the nearest unoccupied space towards Telos, which is here. Okay. I don't know if I have uh -huh. an icon for your dog, but... We are going to use... Um, this one. Cute doggo. Cute doggo. Very fluffy, very pettable. Drools a lot, but you know. Uh -huh. Dogs. We dogs and dogs do what dogs do. And so it's gonna, you know, attack. But it's gonna attack with licks. I get it. <laughs> That's how it attacks solo. And just I like lick, 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 lick. Ah, I'm getting hit. Ah. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> Yeah, and then the doggo is going to try its very best to get up to Tilos. Um, let me just check. If I am not wrong, the dog... It can move through other creatures and objects as if they were difficult to rain. So, uh, technically, would it be able to go up the tower? It can climb it at, like, half speed. Okay, cool. Because if I'm not wrong, that one has... Uh, I, I'm not sure how... What the stat... Let me just grab Diewolf stat. I'm working on too. Good doggo. Where's my good doggo stat? 50 feet. So you can move a total of 25 from where you're at. It is 30 up the wall alone. Okay. But I just added Dire Wolf to that stupid icon I gave you, which I say stupid mm -hmm. because I didn't make a good one for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's... 25, oh no, it's over here, it's 15 feet. So 15 so, plus, you'll need 30 to climb it. 30 to... Oh, sorry, 30 to climb 30. it, a half speed is 60 feet to climb. Okay, cool. Um, is it not just possible to run inside and take the stairs? Sure, you can run inside, it'll take a little bit longer. 
they'll take longer. We're trying to do faster, it's more efficient. Considering uh, that I can move through walls. Oh, you can move through walls. I didn't think about yeah. that. Uh, well, that might. That might be about the same. It's not like I mapped out the inside of this palace, so we're gonna <laughs> just assume it's about the same distance, saying there's a stairwell roughly on the inside of it. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um, then it's going to growl and move up there. And at the same time, that was my bonus action. Regular action is going to be Eldritch Blast. Okay. Oh, I don't think I hit anybody, right? No, I don't think I hit Telos specifically. Oh, Telos. Okay. Um, let me look at ways. No, that does not hit him. Yeah. So he's gonna do that, and then after that, he's gonna duck inside the house. Okay. Would he be in an area where he could get some hack tactics? Cause I'm near Telos. Does your Shadow Beast get pack tactics on top of that? Um, Does it get everything that's Dire Wolf standards, or...? Is this here? Yes, that's of Dire Wolf, and, um, check. Can read it. Okay, let's leave it here. The Hound uses Dire Wolf tactics, that's what it, that's all it says. We don't have the monster. And then the only thing it's changed. The only thing it says there is that the size is medium, not large. One says monstrosity, not beast. And it also has temporary hit points equal to half my level. It can move through other creatures or objects as if it's difficult terrain, so it half speed through, but that doesn't mean much. Hmm. And it takes force damage if it ends its turn in those objects. <laughs> it doesn't specify, so I'm going to assume it still gets uh, the attacks from there. And Dire Wolf does not have pack tactics. Oh, it does have pack tactics. Mm -hmm. And keen smell. No longer hidden train. Yeah, it's not specified. Yeah. I see. So, I, I guess we can assume it acquires that. Wolf has advantage on attack rolls if a creature is at least, or one of its allies, are within five feet of the creature. So, Larry, is there a pack? part of the pack so both of you have <laughs> to be within five feet of it right yeah yeah i'm not five feet is. of it yet though right it's within five feet of that wildfires but it's not within five feet of the di of her wolf yet oh. her wolf is almost there so it's somewhere around here i'm just gonna put yeah that'll work <laughs> okay is that everything okay. ethan can do yeah. Yep. All right. Ethan has not realized his other stuff. Um, since there's room to move underneath Camille, you're not blocking any space. This guy is going to move up here. And then he's going to draw his crossbow. And he's going to shoot Rangor and miss. Shoot me! <laughs> this other dwarf is going to also kind of move up this way, and he's going to attack the stupid mephit creature there. First hit. Nine damage. How much health does that thing have? Four! It explodes, and... What's the radius on that again? 
It's five feet of the creature. Okay, good. Camille's fine. <laughs> Fifteen feet above. Or take four 1d8 fire damage. Okay, so I have to roll a DC of at least ten. He passes. And for his second attack, he's going to take out his crossbow and shoot at Camille. Hits. Do nine damage. The mage up here next to the castle looks at Telos and casts Fly. Yeah, you only have to be 60 feet of him. Wait, what? Someone looks at Telos and then casts the drow mage. right next to him? Target, willing target. Oh, it is touched, you're right. Fine, he climbs to the top of the castle, 30 feet up you... from where he was standing, and then casts fly on Telos. Wouldn't that be that a dexterity a check? Or a strength save? I or didn't make anybody save. else do that. That's true. Can I roll it? Too late now. Yeah, that's true. It's a Dang mage. Guys. Come on. <laughs> a mage climbing up a wall. We're a used wolf to... climbing up a wall? Oh, claws. Demon can... <laughs> okay, then. Are you, would... I'm just saying claws. Yeah. Have you, you, you just seen don't want me to cast. You just don't want me to cast fly on Telos. Yeah, that is fine. true. <laughs> <laughs> Not denying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he ends his turn. It's just the others two makes more sense because it's an animal climbing up something and, well, solo, Monk. an animal that <laughs> climbs up stuff. <laughs> That's not abnormal for him. I would expect it. I'd have to roll if I tried. Mm -hmm. So, well, just say. On, on, on other climbing things, we will probably do that. Thank you for pointing it out. I have not been making uh, the monk roll at almost at all this entire game but mm, yeah because i use uh, acrobatics true. and half exactly. the time i just let him bound on top of 20 foot buildings without counting his moves so you know there's that too you oh i thought it was because of my game. movement speed i don't but think he does I mean, have to do checks i've i've sometimes. watched him do checks before sometimes no, you're right no tilo takes disengage and flies 65 feet Turns around and shoots Solaris. Finally. He didn't do the hunter's mark. Just the other two. Critical strike oh. with the first one. 16 misses for the second one. 5 plus 3 piercing damage. I'm going to use deflect missile. I bet you're going to use deflect missile. Yes. Uh, don't you have to roll something as well on that? I know that like halves damage or something like that, but I thought you could roll something. Like a D10. Uh, you're hit by a ranged weapon attack. You also do so damage from the attack is reduced by one D10 plus his dexterity modifier. And if he reduces it to zero, and spend, he can spend a key point to throw it back to the creature that's attacking him. It's 15. 15 total. Well, that definitely reduced it to zero. Ha ha. I'm throwing it back at him. Okay. Roll the hit. Eighteen. Um, I'm gonna go to a ten. Let somebody roll my damage. Okay. What is the damage supposed to be for deflect missile, though? The same as your monk weapon, I believe. It I is. It's a one d six. I f I was talking to him correctly. I'm mm -hmm. looking for that now. Um. Yes, it's 1d6. Three damage to Telos. Okay. 
Selhani's turn. Enraged, Telos is trying to run away. Selhani runs. About there. And what spells does he have available? Oh, looks like he already burned all of his level 3 and level 1 spells. Oh, wait, those are those just the ones used, maybe. I don't know what he's actually used. We are going to cast... Where are all of his offensive spells? He said he it was kind of a mess. He, he, he has yeah. a mess. He has a yeah, mess. Yeah, he, he warned me that there was a mess if I ever have to play his character again. Scorching Ray, I guess. At I thought I could cast that at a higher level. Evocation 2, 3... Yeah. But it didn't give me the option. Oh, it's probably only going to give the option on damage. 15 to hit Telos. And I have to cast that three times. Telos is 16. Okay, so... Where's my Scorching Ray? It's gone. There it is. Two, three, and we're going to cast at... Level three? Yeah. Okay, so two of them hit for big damage. So that's 27 damage. Telos is severely hurting. This steam effort moves over here to attack the dwarf. Ooh, hits. Hey, quick question. When Telos was moving away and he shot me, how far was he from me? Uh, roughly 60, 65 feet. Okay, um... Yeah, I... think 60. when... Yeah, you could check the deflect missile situation when eating it back at the person. It might be a distant thing. It had like 200 feet. I, I am going to another tunnel. Okay. I will double check here. Where did it go? There it is. Deflect missile. Range is 20, 60. So if he is at 60 feet, like you said, then he's within, but he's supposed to have rolled at disadvantage. Whatever. We're done. Solaris's turn again. Telos is now over the fence and flying away. He's 60 feet from you. He may not be available. He might still be in the tunnel. And what he has Radiant Sunball. Yes, he does. That's usually his preferred thing, but he might try just throwing darts. I'm looking. Do you want to come damage. back to him? Let Peter go first and give him a little time to get through the tunnel. We will. Yes, we'll go Peter first. So, is it when it's the start of my turn that I gain another benefit from the? Uh, yes. Go ahead and spirit? roll a d6. Yeah. Okay. That's worth it. It is. It's, even if it's just enough to kind of keep you alive, that's... <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I'm going to, I guess, get up and then move right here over to behind this rock just to get out of sight of Talos and try and hide. It doesn't matter if he throws a radius symbol or action. darts, by the way. Okay. So that's you a... definitely are able to hide, or you feel very okay. good at it. And then move. So let's see. All right, I'm back. We 
skipped your turn. Okay. That's just within range, I believe. For let me check the range on a sh short bow. Okay. Uh, sixty feet. Six. Sixty. Thirty feet. to sixty feet. Thirty to sixty right. feet. So. Oh wait. Uh, it says eighty to three twenty feet. That sounds more right. So, now that I'm stealth, I'm going to try and take uh, a shot at Talos. And since I was stealthed, I'll accept that it. should have advantage. But at the very least, it should also add a sneak attack since. Yep. Yeah. So that'll be nine damage. Plus. Nice. Nice. 11. So 20 damage total. Okay. Steam Mephit's time, and it's going to kind of move to the closest target, as it has been doing. Its previous and summoner? It critically failed. It's going to explode! That's a great oh. idea. Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> it explodes! My bad! Oh. I'm tired of dealing with these things anyway. So, your Mephit explodes. Rangor, you're the only one Sorry, within the Rangor. area. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> I should have kept my mouth hopefully, shut. Hopefully, Vanguard can survive this. We'll see. Well, it's a deck save, so. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I'm well. currently in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Luckily, he has the health to take it, I think. That's true! I, I haven't been hitting there for yet. Exactly. But for some reason, my entire roll 20 just refreshed. Yeah, mine did that too, not long ago. Same. Yeah. I, it, I thought it was my laptop, so I just reset that, but... And there's my deck. And he got hit. So that's 4d8 damage, right? No. <laughs> You're so mean. 1d8, jerk. It says 4 1d8. Take 4 1d8 fire damage. It says 4 is an average. So No, I get that. I'm just giving him a hard time. No. Which actually, ironically, it. is exactly what you rolled. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, I'm just lucky that I used that bonus action for bear form. They it's went true. up from my like six life to my uh uh thirty four, so that helps. Right. You have six life? Good for you. <laughs> That's awesome. That's all right. Mitsu falls into a spike pit. Bite me. I can't, you're too far <laughs> away. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Uh, as much as I want to kill Talos, we have these guys sneaking up on us too. Um, I'm gonna shoot this guy right here. Okay. Hit both of them. That's good damage. Did it die? Did it die by the first one at all, or no? Because if so, bummer. Wisp turn. What? What? <laughs> yes, Wisp points, stares, jumps up in the down in the ground, waving her hands, swings mace. Mace hits one time. I'm seeing the hit. <laughs> by the way, I was actually planning on moving into my uh, wolf, my panther spirit, to get some health. So I'll do that while she fights. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn it. Of course. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. What else? I'm just going to move myself 
wisp over here in case the steam method dies. Okay. Just yeah. in case. They're not going to attack you. Yeah, okay. Rangor's turn. Yeah. You find all your alcohol exploded, and I magically refilled the bottle. He has no intention of drinking I'm like 19% until the Squidward is sure. Yeah, I'm like 19% sure you're the one that's refreshing my little point. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> if I had that power, I would do it. Uh, if Mizu can hack roll 20 for that point, it's the... I don't know how I was the one that somehow hacked it, giving our team 20s and DM 1s. That was a funny night, though. Right. Couple I'm going to move up here, take a five foot step, and. Whoa! Oh. See? See? Oh, it was you. Yeah, that was totally you. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to lay a beat down upon this here door. Stop refreshing. <laughs> okay, that wasn't me. <laughs> that last one was not. Just the flashing between all the freaking maps. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to accuse somebody of doing stuff. Gosh. <laughs> one did. hit. Oh, damn. Nice. Maul that fucker. Mm hmm. Yeah, so 17 to that one. And then that'll be it. Alright. Not dead. They're definitely hurting, but not dead. This other one looks at Wisp and attacks Wisp. One hits. Six damage, so Go halved ahead. is three damage to Wisp. Steam Mephit looks at that same guy and attacks it with his claws. Does not hit. Camille's turn. So, when doing a cone from the air, is it going to be like a 3x3 three three square for 15 cone? Or is it going to be still that angled? Just so I'm aware. That's a good question. Well, we could do a, it straight down if you want, or more straight down. Ultimately, you are in the air, so I'm going to give you the choice. Okay. So, I, uh, I'd really from... not rather it not be straight ahead because you are in the air, but, you know, it's your choice. Well, I, I figure cone, the whole concept of that is that it's, since it is a cone at the very bottom, it would be larger. Mm -hmm. So if he's 15 feet above, it would be the 3x3 three three straight square. Down. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so from where Camille is right now, he could hit these two guys mm -hmm. without hitting Rengar. Is that yeah. clear? Okay, perfect. So, uh, fairy fire. Okay, what's that? Dex save? Uh, yes. 16. Okay, we're going to start the guy at the top. The guy at the bottom saved. Okay, so he's lit up. Which means you get advantage, Rangor. Okay, is that all Camille's doing? Uh, Camille will fly over to me at this point. Okay. Because he can't really do anything else. With... He's still about 15 feet in the air, though. Okay. Ethan? You watch okay, sure. as your party got mutilated, but you have no idea what Telos did because you went back inside the house. Okay. Yeah, I, I go out. Two, three. And I can see Telos, right? Probably, if you could look. But roll a perception. Okay. Let's see if you catch his new location. We'll just give it a 13 or better. Something low. I would know, because the dog would know, and I would know via dog. The dog is possibly pointing towards Telos now. Is there a telepathic um, link between the two? I didn't see. If I'm not wrong, I thought... Hold up. We can all scroll back up and try to figure out... But I didn't see anything like that. Hound of Hell. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, it's only from the hound. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it's only for the hound. The hound will automatically know about where where Helos is, by the way. Yeah. The hound can definitely follow Telos. He smells bad. Fifteen. <laughs> okay. Yes. You walk out, you look up at the castle, you see people looking off and kind of getting cranky, and then you look over to the side, you happen to see Telos really far away, running away. Like he does. <laughs> yeah, so um friends are being you know killed and mutilated left and right mr grim has disappeared to goodness knows where things are looking bad bonus action will use a uh, hex on telos okay mm -hmm. that's a great that's a very good spell yeah and after that he's going to try and Eldritch Blast him again. Twice. Seventeen and twenty-three. Yeah, nice. They both hit. So, five. Stuff. Ten. Both of them at five because I have my charisma of five. So, it will be twenty-five plus the hex, which is... Let me just check. A d6 on each. Or 2d6 oh yeah, on one each. d6. Yeah. So do I just roll a d6, or do I have to roll hex damage? Uh, no, that's fine. Four and six. Oh, nice. Getting good rolls here. Okay. As you. And in case he's not dead, he is now frightened. Well, okay. he has to roll to be frightened, but yeah. As you guys see, she hits Telos. The spell of flight. Also happens to have lost or been lost from Telos and he falls over the fence to the other side and you are unable to see anything more about him. It's okay, the doggy will know where he is. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying he won't. Oh yeah, by the way, the doggo is going to be running towards him with all 50 feet. Okay. Unless the target is dead, then I think the doggy disappears. Doggy appears, target not dead. Mm, it is a spell that generally works in that fashion. Let me see here. Six level. It doesn't have a time limit. I'm seeing at the top at least. Five minutes is his time. Okay. Well, it doesn't say it goes away. Hound disappears if it's reduced to zero hit points, or if the target is reduced to zero hit points, or after five minutes. Okay. So, yes. Yeah. Your dog, who was not currently visible, does not seem to reemerge from the side of the castle as if it's chasing Telos. Okay. Okay, Dark Iron Guard turns and looks at Rangor and says, This isn't funny. I shouldn't be pink. And then swings at him twice. And both hit both hit. Okay. Nine damage. By the way, did we go back to solo after we skipped him? Because we were gonna skip him until he came back. I took Solo's turn into account. Okay. All right. Um, the next Dark Iron Guard laughingly says, Are you kidding me? That's some funny shit. And attacks. <laughs> 15 and a 9 to hit Solo or Ringor. 13. Damage on the one hit. Sorry. Yeah, all good. <laughs> the drow mage that is very badly beat up because when you guys were not looking, Solaris and the puppy um, 
beat the crap out of him. Nommed on him. He became a <laughs> Yeah, he, he wasn't so happy. Um, he... What does he do? He casts Fly on himself, because he has one spell slot left. And tries to take off and just run straight away. Solaris gets a chance to react against him. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not hearing him, so I'll roll... Was it unarmed strike? 22 to hit. 11 damage. That actually was enough to kill him. Nice. So as he starts Punched him from the sky. Right. So as he starts flying away, you guys watch as uh, Solaris does a roundhouse kick and just the guy goes falling limply to the ground, dead. Killed on impact of the ground, not from Telos's. I, from I would make sure that he's not that. Not that. Yes, but as he falls to the ground 30 feet below, he cracks his head and dies. Who, <laughs> Taylor? No, oh, the, no, Taylor's the wizard. already gone. The, the drow. Yeah. How do I hit him from that far? The drow was right next to you. You killed the drow. No, uh, the drow was trying what? to fly away, so you uh, unarmed, uh, used unarmed strike, and he fell from where he was trying to fly from the top of the castle. Yes. Is how exactly. he was doing that. Okay. I think he just wants him to die, so <laughs> sorry. Look, everybody else killed all of your targets. This one tied two. Alright. <laughs> Selhani standing next to Wisp realizes, oh no, Wisp, you look like you hurt, so I'm going to cast heal wounds on you at level I think I have level two available. <laughs> level two. Four healing points. Really? Oh, because it only did once. It needs another 1d8 plus 3. Alright, so 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Health to Wisp. Steam Mephit's turn. Looks at Wisp. Has nobody else to attack. So it attacks Wisp. There's that... What do you mean? It's right... There's a drow. Uh, oh, well, okay, right sorry. There. It attacks the dwarf. My bad. <laughs> I thought it was Wisp is on the other Wisp. side. I mean, You're right. Wisp is also a dwarf. Shush. <laughs> 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 he knows what I meant. Don't. <laughs> so, what happens to Talos? Does he stop flying now? Uh, Talos, Talos fell over a fence, is... supposedly dead. We're going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Talos went back. And hound Ethan, right? Uh, yes. The hound Fell is no longer snap. available to be found. Granted, uh -huh. the characters don't know what that means, but... Mm -hmm. You just saw... Uh, I, mean, I would think then. Ethan knows what the doggo would be like, considering... Well, yeah, Ethan knows. The rest of us wouldn't. <laughs> mm. Oh that yeah, would, also, would make sense Ethan looks hella scary right now. Yeah. He's still in his form of dread. So Rangor and Mitsu are the only... <clears throat> excuse me. The only people that can see Ethan at the moment. Anyways. Alright. Solaris. There are, is Peter one Pan. bad guy next to Wisp. Not far from you. And then there's two bad guys at the gate. And those are the last three people that you can see that are potentially hostile. What would you like to do? Is Solaris not home yet? Uh, yeah, not yet. I'm just one step away. Just, if I have the extra attack and the bonus session, I would try to attack the guys in the bottom. It's the beginning of your turn, so I assume, yes, you can do it. Because Mitsu threw a fit about my climbing skills, I'll have you roll in acrobatics um, to get to the bottom to see if you hurt yourself or not. It makes sense. It does. Okay. You still didn't roll for the mage. He died. 
I don't care. 26. Yep, you make it to the floor. Three-point landing. Three-point landing plus monk falling, so, you know, he took zero damage. Go. Do you want to roll for the three attacks on the dwarf guy closest to you, or do you want me to do it? I'm going to roll it for him. Three unarmed strikes. 13, 21, 12. One hits. Six damage. He rolled a 26 in the other in Discord. Oh, did he? Okay, I'll take his 26 yeah. instead. So it'd be the 26, the 13, and the 21. So two of them. Okay. Also, I wanted to remind the DM, I forgot, I have Elemental Prepared still on. Oh, thank you. Uh, are you going to turn it off because this hit will actually kill? Alright, yeah. I uh, turn it off, or I try to hold back. Okay. I'm going to put this guy at zero health, and I'm going to flag him as unconscious or dead, but uh, you guys could, uh, you know, take him prisoner or whatever you want. It depends on if your party members want to kill him, like, you know, everybody's killed him in the past so far. Or if one of those methods explode next to him and can't exactly dodge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> he may die eventually. Well. <laughs> he may die of AoE. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's not our fault. Well, that the best of us. Would the Mephits fight each other? It's the next closest thing. Speaking of Mephits, they both explode simultaneously because Rangor died. Uh, okay. Peter, it's died. That means two death saves. <laughs> for, well, four death saves on that one guy, so he's just immediately dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's no longer unconscious. He's bleeding out now. At oh, the very least. I'm joking, Peter. It's your turn. Oh, okay. We're okay with that. So. I'm sure you I'm are. Um, <laughs> 5, 10, 15. Um, I'm guessing those guys can see me since I just went out of stealth, so I'm going to try and sneak back again to move out of sight. And failed miserably. <laughs> well, All right. In the process of trying 12. to sneak, <laughs> you tripped and fell into the burning house next to you. And Wait, this one's burning? <laughs> no, you're saying that one. Yep, yeah, I'm going to say that one. You're close enough. Yep, okay. And you take three damage from okay. fire. Okay. Now screaming in pain, you do what? So the guy with the firearm took fire damage. How do it's you even fall with fire firearm? I don't know. Shoot. Just saying. His arm may not take fire damage, but the rest of him does. At reduced damage. I'm going to try and hit that guy. It hits. My short bow. Okay. And is that adjacent to an ally? Because I can't tell if like it he's is. on the ground or if he's like, okay. Yep, they're okay. all there. By the way, if yeah. you... you can and actually, he's engaged. Uh, specifically engaged with him. Rangor. And if you mm -hmm. hit the guy with the pink, you actually get advantage. So if you want to try to roll again in hopes of getting a 20, that'd be fun. Okay. <laughs> Alright, 12 damage to the guy in pink. So, uh, I, I totally did not. Uh, I'm just doubling your first 20. one. Oh, you're just doubling the first one? Okay. Yeah. That's you then, do more damage that way. Uh, low sneak attack, so 16. And more. you fall back into the building again. You take 6 damage what? this time. How, how, did I, how did I fall back? <laughs> <laughs> damage doesn't count for those crit ones. They just... I'm playing. <laughs> Just playing with him because it we're all been playing. Hilarious. All right, That's why we're here? I know. All right. Yes, he still takes his eight damage. Oh, eight damage double. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. All right, he's almost dead. Very, very weak. Is that all you're gonna do? Mm -hmm. 
And you chirp and fall yeah. back into the house to take six damage. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with die. the house! <laughs> he is not that clumsy. Today he is. He's been drinking a lot. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. <laughs> That's right. All right, Mitsu, it's your turn. Okay, so I will shoot at the pink guy. Okay. Missed. Both times. Really? Oh, I just called that out. I wasn't even looking at the screen. The first I was going to say 17 misses? <laughs> no, 17 <laughs> hits. Is he still breathing? Uh, For 12 damage? No. No, he is dead dead. Okay. You put the arrow right. straight through his head. It's poking out the backside. Rangor's a little disgusted, almost vomiting, but then he realized he doesn't want to get rid of his lunch. Well, he's a bear. I think he's fine. And yeah, it'll be like Tennessee. berries nuts, <laughs> Ten to the other guy misses, I'm sure. Yep. All right, and that will be the end of my turn. All right, Wisp has nothing next to her to worry about. Yeah, so the only person which is still alive is this guy here. I guess um, I can throw my javelin at them. Sure, why not? Yeah. 24. I haven't seen Wisp do that in a long time. Yeah, that hits. Wait, what's your distance? Um, I mean, you could move closer. I'm just trying to make sure. Because I think javelin's uh, 30, 60. In your 45. It says, doesn't it say 30, 120 right there? Like on the screen? Oh, it does say it on the screen. 30, 120. But So th disadvantage after 30 feet, though, right? Maximum of 120. Oh, no. It was at 22. Does she hit? <laughs> so... <laughs> I've just got to point that out. What? Well, she rolled it! She did. She still hits. She did. She did. I just wanted to point that I out. Can I can only throw one javelin, right? Um, no, I think you can throw two because Wisp has double attack, and as long as it's an attack action. Okay, cool. Yes, extra attack. Yeah. Oh. I don't think either hit. No. But you watch as you throw that spear, and Peter's like, Ow, 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 my friend! What? <laughs> He's being a brat! He takes... <laughs> he removes that six fire damage that he took earlier by screaming like that. Alright. Rangor, it's your turn. Yeah, better get him killed before Ethan comes in because because Ethan's gonna try and make friends or something. No, no, no. I'm going to dead. No fairy fire didn't anymore. Fight anymore. Yeah, fairy fire was on the other one. I'm gonna multi attack the fight. Uh, one hits. Man. 12 damage. It's not dead, but it's hurting. And I roared his face. Roar! Okay. <laughs> this steam method decides it wants to attack um, Solaris. And in doing so, it's going to use its steam breath on him. So Solaris needs to make a deck save of 10. All right, awesome. Dex save, here I come. Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Awesome. Just so happens. 13, to, thank goodness. Just so happens to be that uh, in the line of uh, attack, the steam method had to blow in. It, you know, dealt damage to the corpse. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> and it hit its other steam like method. In the middle of the attack, that Peter was going to be lit on fire. Struck by lightning by God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the turn's Just not over continue yet. Continue the flame. <laughs> turn's not over yet. <laughs> the other steam method actually also gets hit by this attack and explodes. 
So you're going to need to roll another deck save. Also, that does a second point of damage to this uh, person on the ground. So at the very least, it's bleeding out. Mm -hmm. So Solaris fails his deck save. Well, there's one thirteen, but I think that was the first one. Yeah, well, that was a while ago. That wasn't even his last one. He just rolled and passed. But no, that was two minutes ago. He's quiet. That's not abnormal for uh, Sato. <laughs> it's true. He just dropped out of Discord. All right, I'll roll it for him, which doesn't matter because, you know. I'm back. Oh, he's back. It doesn't matter. I just passed the explosion call. But that makes this yeah, guy explode. I... So you have to roll another deck save again. Oh, wait. So you seen the 13 I rolled? Yeah. So this is, right, your, awesome. this is your third so... save. Okay. 10. 10 just barely passes. Uh, awesome. Could have done better, though. <laughs> I know. Right. I'm surprised I'm with you. All right. Camille's turn. Accidentally uh, lobs gonna... a fireball at Peter, by the way. Oh, God. You know what? Go ahead and give Camille fireball. That would be pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'd have more things on fire than we already do. Uh, we can try, yeah. Uh, Camille's going to fly over and bite the guy. Does 14, 14 hit. does not hit. Do you fly away? Okay. Let's see that one. Fly up 10 feet. Alright, guy swings at you with reaction. And... 26 damage. to hit. And 7 damage. Ethan, you watch as this guy took his axe and hit Camille really hard with it. What are you going to do? Do not shoot fireballs at Peter. That's my job. Apparently. <laughs> Alright, who muted Ethan? I'm saying you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I think I muted myself just now. Yeah, um... Ethan's gonna try and go up to the guy. I think I was here. Hold up. Sorry. So I'm gonna go up to the guy and try and persuade him to stop fighting. Closing argument. What? Sorry? I said, and what's the argument to, that he has? Basically... And now uh, Ethan's gonna do the whole shebang of this. Uh, there's a lot of violence currently. Um, I think the battle is on. I think the battle is on our side. So please, please don't let us. Let Let's stop all of this violence. Let Let's not do this, please. Kind of thing. Okay, I'm not gonna go ahead and roll your persuasion. Philosophy and whatever. <laughs> 20. Perfect. Guy says I'd be more than happy to uh, quit fighting you all. If you'll just give me some breathing room and I'll just stand over here next to the fence. Is that okay? Ethan's going to look at everybody else just like, That would be okay, right? As everybody to this dwarf has this uh, evil glare on their face and blood dripping off them and... He is terrified, just so you know. Yeah, Ethan also looks pretty terrifying, so. Yes, <laughs> this is true, too. Well, he did have, like, a dozen of his friends around, and they're all dead. Of course he's terrified. Yeah. Wait, I can't stand in front of him, right? I don't have enough... Oh, wait, I do have enough movement to stand in front of him and, like, kind of shield him from everybody else's gaze. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. Fine. And since how we're technically officially out of combat now, unless any of you want to make any combat choices. Yeah, Solos is going to try to chase down Talos. 
Okay. Can can I sort of perceive where I saw him fall down? Go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna say you have a, a good idea of where he fell. Uh huh. And you can run over towards the fence and see if you can see him through the fence or try to climb the fence or whatever. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna flip over the fence. Yeah. Okay. As you get to the other side of the fence, you see the blood splat of where he was. You clearly see what looks like a crater from where he hit. You see something. You're not really sure what to say it is or was. But it's pretty uh, gory where you're looking. Oh. But no corpse. Parts of something. Oh, it's okay. Tilos is still alive. <laughs> can I? Can I, I, I wanted him to just Somewhere. die. Why won't he freaking die? There, is there a is the, is there at least a couple of limbs? Anything? Go is ahead. there his head? What? Go ahead and roll what perception to see if you see any whole parts. Seventeen total. Okay, you definitely see an arm. There's a squished something that looks like it was a helmet at one point and definitely gook all inside it you can't really tell what that was he hit the ground pretty hard it looks like can i sniff out his blood yeah Yeah. can i sniff out his blood to see if he's still in the area you with that perception i will tell you you can definitely smell that that blood on the ground is his all right can I so just roll a survival to track him? To light to everything bite, see on any fire. fire. <laughs> so after you he does that, to, to track. Because we don't need to die. To die. <laughs> Peter, Peter dead. Vampiric Peter. <laughs> Peter starts lighting the entire village on fire, hoping... Well, just... Talos, <laughs> just <laughs> the body. It is a very high grass or tall grassy area. Okay, fine. Um, I'm gonna go no, over and it, help the. I'm gonna go help the the, the cows. cows. They're already the dead. Gonna... They are burned and crispy at this point. Like we're talking, not just well done. It's overdone at this point. Well, technically, is that there... would just be the outside. We can get further in and get better quality meat. Is there any possibly. like? Any houses that are not burned that have yeah, like there's one or slaves two. in them? Uh, well, slaves. Let me roll that die. I don't remember plating, putting slaves in there. Um, all the slave houses. Ooh, nope. I rolled a one. There are nobody alive. Anymore. Anymore. You do definitely find the burnt corpses of the slaves that were in there. Um, chained to walls, in cages. There's a couple that were... Um, suspended above the floor in cages. Must have died before we got here. <laughs> Definitely crispy burnt. Is there anything in here? In this castle? An in entrance castle? to the down. Yeah, for the most part, that's exactly all you see is there's this huge cave. I mean, there's a side path that, with a staircase that leads to the roof. But there is a huge tunnel that you can take a cart down into the Dwarven Mines, where some of your team has already been. This is how they get people from the Upworld down into the Dwarven Mines and sell them as slaves. Mm-hmm. That's how we came down here in the first place. Hey, actually, uh, letting this other guy live could be our proof that we destroyed the bandit camp. Mm-hmm. So, letting him live is actually to our benefit. Good job, Ethan. Yeah. Wasn't the whole plan to make sure everybody tried to come out alive? Yes, but they decided to attack us. Things went south fast, but thanks to you, we, uh, this <clears throat> one guy did not have to die. That was Sohani's yes. fault entirely. It was, they kept, but we're they not were saying that. They were poking and prodding her. <laughs> that was so her fault stick. for not listening. And it was a spear. Mm-hmm. So, He's literally everyone <laughs> that I knocked out has died, or except for that guy that I kicked, but a little bit too hard and fell off the roof. <laughs> yeah. 
It basically Pretty looked sure like the guy is trying to jump away from Solaris, and Solaris roundhouses him and forces him to the ground. Oh wait, is the uh, <laughs> is the main still alive? Since they got probably knocked out by Solaris up here. Oh no, that the guy that fell down from the, that roof died. He fell off the roof. So you have this one guy alive. Oh, there was a second guy that was knocked. No, he got blown up. So nope, just this one guy that's alive. Oh, you mean the one that he knocked unconscious and then you blew up because of the method domino effect? Yes. Yeah. yeah tried, you see, Solaris tried to kill Solaris. To let people live. I tried to kill Solaris. It didn't work. Okay. He's you knew it wasn't gonna. So what's your name? <laughs> the guy goes, um, like um, they, 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 they call me Chubbs. <laughs> that. Okay, Mr. Chubbs, I need you to take up the helmet so I can see if there's any injuries on your head. <laughs> he go. He slowly takes off his helmet with one hand and kind of throws it in one direction, away from the party, not trying to be malicious, but he gets it as far away from him as he can. Ethan gonna try and do a checkup. As he, <laughs> he's, the guy's hurt. <laughs> This Basically, is one of the dwarves all. that let Ethan in because he looked like a honey trap, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is specifically the dwarf that did that. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Yeah. So Ethan's probably going to for his armor as well. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what was that about the armor? Yeah, because you can't see injuries if you're in armor, so Ethan's probably going to ask for him to take off his armor as well and try and bandage up what he can. You you see that he is still terrified of Ethan in Ethan's form, and he's just very shakily, very I, terrified. I dropped it! I oh, dropped it! Oh, I didn't it. hear that. Okay. He's still scared <laughs> of you, knowing it. what you can look like. And so he's worried, and he slowly takes off his armor and kind of throws it to the side. Okay. Yeah, well, Ethan's just going to be as gentle as he can. For a sad sod. Uh-huh. That's yes. what a hunting trap is, though. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Full purpose. Uh-huh. And the guy... I uh, he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> the true honey lies within. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's... <laughs> All right. The guy's terrified. He's like, oh, can, can, "Can I just um, go? I I won't I won't, I won't do this again. You'll never see me again. I swear. Just can can, can I go?" We need to bring him to the town as proof. No, don't take me there. They'll kill me. They'll have me executed on the spot. Why? <laughs> because the people that were here did some ba very bad things. My only job was to protect the gate. I, ne I never participated in any of that. Hmm. Insight. Someone needs to roll an insight check on that shit. Yeah. While Rangor roars at him. <laughs> oh, yes. He's definitely scared of Rangor. You see him backing up towards the fence. Or more specifically, the stand. As everything's burning around him. I think... I lick my bloody claws and press to insight. So, so I far rolls an insight. but I only rolled it. Yes. Well, I guess someone else could, but I, I don't think. Guys, we hurt him. We all did. We all heard him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. I know nothing. <laughs> Seems trustworthy enough. Mitsu, first of all, tells everybody. Yeah, he's telling this truth, guys. This has to be the truth. <laughs> Sounds like the truth. <laughs> Peter's like, I don't know. I think there's still something up with him. You sure you weren't just a guard? Well, I mean, I, I mean, you know, sometimes I went hunting with the guys and got some food, and um, I, I cleaned up in the cages every so often. Nothing extremely bad, right? Well. I mean, I didn't hurt anybody. 
And I'm not the one that took all the slaves or took them down there. I would hate to be anybody who went down there. Very few of even our own guys ever come back. I roar questioningly. I don't know what's down um, there. They sell them down there. Mr. Chubbs? Yes? If you knew what was happening here, and you had seen the aftermath after cleaning up the cages, why did you still stay, and why did you join in the first place? Uh, they they took me from my home as a small boy and told me if I ever tried to do anything, they'd kill my mother. Who, of course, they just happened to sell as a slave. But they said, then said that they would do it to me. And and what, cleaning the cages, that's, that's not that big of a deal. You know, sometimes the girls, they get a little messy in there. And the guys, well, you they, the guys were the worst, but... You know, they they just make messes. This is it's just a normal mess. It's not like we were killing them here in the town or anything. He then doesn't have a grim to look up to, so he's going to turn to Mizu. Uh oh. That's probably a good thing. See what happens. To Peter, but Peter has dropped down in his estimation. So yes, he'll turn to Mizu and then to Wisp. Well, he is still a part of it. We should at least turn him into the proper authorities. And Wisp and is nodding her head. <laughs> but, but, but if they're going to execute him, then... Wouldn't that be bad still? I mean, we just want nobody else to die, right? How would we know that they're, he would execute them? Or they would execute him? He's just saying that. Well, that, that's what they do to bandits around here. There's, you know, the king's orders execute all bandits. We know that. But it's just kind of a regular occurrence. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I didn't have a choice. There's always a choice, especially since you were on the outside of this. How easy would have been to just leave if you didn't want to be here? You saw how guarded this was. There was a gate behind us that had two guys in it pointing crossbows at us. Well, all I had to do was decide if there were people worth letting into the camp and people not worth letting into the camp. I We've thought come you guys in and were out of here good. twice. <laughs> We've this is our second time here. So I'm a good judge of character. Back, which is why you attacked us. I didn't attack you. Yes, you did. You attacked my dragon. He was burning me with that very something or another. He was not very nice. <laughs> First off, that was not fire. It just lit you up like shiny, but it didn't actually light you up. Yeah, I dodged it. I'm smarter than that guy. Yes, but it didn't cause him any pain. It just made him light up. And then he died. Tell me because of us. Uh, Thank you. I, I have a good reason but, to be scared of you. I put down my armor. But, you, <laughs> but Ethan's Does, gonna take his hand and just like lay, hand, lay his hands off. Lay, take his hands. And just like... <laughs> Uh, it's okay, Mr. Chaps. I believe you. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a way that we can get out of this with everybody who is alive still staying alive. And, of course, being better and not doing these kinds of things anymore, right? Oh, well, I definitely wouldn't do anything like this. If I, I want to go to Perth. I hear in Perth they have a quarry that I can go work at. It's honest labor. I mean, it's really hard work, but I could go in there and disappear and never have to be heard from again. Yeah, I've heard that before. You remember, you see that flying guy, the dwarf that was flying? Yeah. Yeah. We also thought he was going to go away, so... I don't know where he came from. I don't know why he was here. He just showed up with the last group of people bringing in slaves. Okay, then why did your drow friend help him fly away? Yeah, uh, those... Drow, 
they're part of the people down below. I don't know anything about them. They worship some gods that are quite evil. Aren't you a black iron, though? Well, um, I, I was an uh, upworlder, and, you know, like the slaves, I put on the armor because I looked like a, the dark iron dwarfs, and, and they raised me, sort of, and, you know, I, I did as they said so that I could live. Hmm. How about this? Um, if you can actually give us some feasible information that can help us make sure this doesn't happen again, we can try and figure this out in a different way. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you two things. First of all, I can escort you personally to Perth. Um, you keep me in chains, whatever. I'll just give you the directions ahead of time. You take me there. You drop me off. I'll sign up. I'll disappear. Second thing I can give you. I can tell you that there's a school. Yeah, maybe three days from here. Uh, they, they train mages. And I hear there's a... They're setting it up for catastrophe in here soon. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But uh, my understanding is the school will be no more when they're done. Books. And if you have a map, I can point on the map. I, I've looked at a map enough. I can tell you where the school is. Ethan okay. gives him his map. We do have a map. I was going to say, I'll, I'll pull out mine and you can mark it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you pull out your map. Let me bring the gray maid. I, I am directionally challenged, so it has to be actually written in. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember how to get to this place. <laughs> And he puts his finger on the map and says, right here. Ethan's going to make a marking. All right. Okay. And as long as you <laughs> can't guarantee if the next time we see you and you're on the other end of this, uh, on the other side, can't guarantee your safety. So hopefully you do turn your life around, which would be great. Like I said, I'd be more than happy to. I mean, you can escort me to Perth. It's And he points way down at the bottom of the map, and he says, it's over here. I look around everyone. Do we want to walk him, or can we just let him go? You could easily just let him go. That's what I'm thinking, because I don't want to go all the way down there. We just have to escort that merchant. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what would you recommend to show as proof that everyone else here died? Can we just take all your armor? Uh, why would you need that proof? I mean, yeah, you could take our armor, but what, what, what? But he would need the armor. He's going to go down traveling. No, no I if mean, I take this gonna armor, somebody's going to kill me. And... I mean, yeah, I'd, yes. I'd like to be protected from all the people, but. It's dark iron. Exactly. Or, uh, it would not benefit him to keep that, so. By the way, his armor is equivalent. Kind of protection. His armor is equivalent to plate armor. Ooh, nice. Is there any like insignias or something that would like show that it was? Oh yeah, there's insignias on the dark iron. Um, both of the shoulders have. Uh, there's a special symbol. I don't have it drawn to show you right now. I I should do it. Um, there's a hammer with a sword crossed on each shoulder. And that's their Dark Iron tribe. It's pretty well known through most of the Dwarven Empires. Okay. So, I mean, unfortunately, you'd have to show it to a Dwarf to know for sure, but yes. Unless the people thing, in the area would know. One proposition is that uh, the that I would use my final use of my arm for the day. Okay. And then possibly just heat off all of the insignias or try and 
or maybe Wisp would be able to help with that. To okay. get off all the uh, techniques. If you wish to try to reforge his armor uh, between you and Wisp, I'm sure you could figure out how to set that up. It would lose some of its uh, durability or armor class in this case, but I'm, we can set that up. Mm -hmm. You guys spend... Uh, Oh, if you want to just remove insignia, so let's say an hour or two to do it. If you want to change the shape of it so it doesn't look quite as much like the dark iron, uh, I'd tack on another two, three hours, something like that. Since how neither of you have really worked that well with a forge or anything. I know Wisp is done a few times, but... Seems easy enough. There you go. Spent... <laughs> Willing to spend Peter's the next arm half is of the a day. forge. <laughs> mm -hmm. what? Yes, Peter's arm can be a forge, <laughs> but there is also a forge nearby that Peter can light if he wanted to. I mean, so. Oh, there it is. Well, Discord cut yeah. out of me, so I missed a portion of that. Sorry. Oh, I was saying, mm -hmm. using just his hand and his heat metal ability, he could just remove the insignias. It'll take a little bit of time, but I would allow it. If you guys mm -hmm. want to actually forge the armor into different shapes, there is a forge nearby that you can utilize. I think just to take off the insignia, some he can just take off the parts that are most notable in terms of construction, like just That's keep true. a breastplate or something. Okay, he'd be more than happy to take the breastplate. You'll have to remove the insignia that's above the right breast, mm -hmm. or your right breast when looking at him, his left breast. Yeah, makes sense. Um, yeah. If you're going to be doing a lot of things to the armor, um, Mr. Williams, may I borrow your alchemy set? Sure. Yeah. I'll hand it over. Thank you. Mr. Chaps, what do you know about poison? Uh, it's bad. Do you know mm -hmm. how to make poison or taste poison? Well, the only thing I know oh. about poison is if it the food tastes bad, it's probably poison. That's about all I know. Okay. Thank you for your help. Remember to rest a lot and get yourself some proper medical care. I will <laughs> see what I can do. It'll obviously take a while for these wounds to heal naturally, but if you let me go with my life, I'll accept that. Hmm. Ethan gonna give him a brilliant smile and then after that go off to make poisons okay so does Solaris try to find like continue on the trail that he's on oh part yeah two, that was part two go ahead and roll perception okay can I use survival to track him down sure. or it doesn't really matter because it's perfect 16 how big of an area do you want to cover to just make sure that nothing else happened? Um, as wide as I possibly could to try to search for him, because he's elusive, so I'm tr looking for tracks, smell, like anything. Okay. So, I'm going to say in the three hours or so that everybody's messing with this dwarf and trying to make sure he's legit and burning off insignias and other such things... Um, you check a pretty good 60 foot or so perimeter in, uh, in thorough detail, mind you. It took you a while. You're checking everything. Um, you definitely notice that the pile of blood and guts all over the ground definitely smells of Telos. You actually even see his broken bow on the ground right next to him about maybe 10 feet away actually um i mean they, they, you just don't pick up a lot there's one time you thought you picked up a scent of him about 30 feet away towards the south but then you walked out another 30 feet and kept searching in that general direction and you didn't pick it up again so it might have just been a piece of cloth that came off the body which is hard to find right now i mean there's nothing but blood and guts everywhere where he hit. All right. Um, I'm going to take a piece of his broken bow and... 
Take his Whoa. bones as well. Take his fingers. Why? There is a <laughs> hand that is kind of severed um, upon the impact. I mean, you can still see where the arm was attached at one point, but it's like flat and just a couple of the fingers are just sticking up out of the ground. I am going to take that the hand, the only reason why, because <sighs> to understand what happened, maybe magic, I don't know. Solaris is actually still hates magic, but it knows he knows that sometimes with the help of his friends, they could solve this with the help of magic. So he's going to go to anyone to help. So okay. he's going to go back after picking up the hand Wait, and the bow. Pick up broken the bow. hand. You notice that it has a small object clutched in it. All right. Um, what do I see the small object is? It looks almost like a crystal ball, but it's uh, able to easily fit inside his hand. All right. I take the ball and I bring it. Well, I could still search for something in this area. Did I search for anything other than Talos? Maybe some dropped items or what have you? Yeah, I need to go and loot the place. Yeah, loot the place. <laughs> okay. I assume everybody's going to kind of sort of try to loot after uh, you guys get back. Um, right. There is about 350 gold shared amongst each of the corpses. You also find about 100 silver, some miscellaneous daggers and swords. Of course, whatever they were wearing, um, each of the dwarves, uh, I think there was five dwarves, six, six dwarves, something like that, had battle axes, um, their own suit of dark iron mail. The wizards had a staff and a dagger on them each. So that's where some of the daggers came from. The staffs didn't look like they were magical of any kind. They were just a, basically a stick of wood, custom whittled. All right. No, not and I don't beach. find anything. And I don't find anything in by my area, right? Right. And I believe uh, poison or alchemy is wisdom. I can double check. Yeah, I'm hoping it's either wisdom, but uh, I know Ethan has a plus two in intelligence, so it could be that as well. Hello. Hello. Hey. hey. Sup, Sizzy. Hello. Hey. The Hi. bad guy got away. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't, don't they always? I don't. We were so close. Hopefully. Oh. Okay. I'm still going to try to keep to him know. alive. Talos? Yeah, we're not sure if Talos is alive or not. He I know. I'm still going to try to keep him. It may or may not be him, or he could have just cut off his hand, or and then just to leave his scent ba back for us. Oh, I know. I know he's still alive, possibly, but I'm still going to try to keep him alive. Huh? I have no idea what that meant, but okay. No idea what oh, like if he's actually <laughs> alive, I'm still not going to kill him. Oh. Okay. Do an yeah. investigation check on the body, maybe. He tried. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. It so he only like found it on Tilos a, a, a ball? There's no money or gold or anything? Uh, <laughs> no, he didn't find pockets. Oh. He, he find pockets. There's a lot of smashed armor and gear smashed. everywhere. The body parts are very smashed and blood and guts are everywhere. Ooh. Wisp waking, right, waking so. up from her rage coma. Says hi. <laughs> she spent quality time with her frog, so she's feeling better. <laughs> so. Oh my god. So I get back to the group and I <laughs> just show up with, with with everything that the DM just told me. So. I guess we do know one thing, which is the demon dog disappeared after he started falling out of the sky. That's he was right. seeming unconscious, and then... You mean yeah. Kevin? His name's Kevin. <laughs> I love that! I love that! <laughs> um, well... Well, everything 
should have a name, right? So I, I decided I... to call him Kevin. <laughs> I love that this huge oh, monster no. dog has a normal name, and there's only so now there's three normal names in the group. Uh oh. <laughs> and one of them was Wait, who are the three? <laughs> Ethan, Peter, and Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> one just became a vampire, the other one periodically goes oh. into psycho mode. <gasps> Demon dog, so oh, <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, I love it. messed up. We messed up. We so messed up. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's fantastic. It is not even like fluffy. It like is. that would have been funny, but it's Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was great. thinking about Home Alone throughout this whole time. <laughs> Damn he was God. there, but then he wasn't there again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he just disappeared. Oh, oh, no. And he did chase our fastest oh, no. person who likes to hide away from him. <laughs> Originally, he was chasing Solo, and Solo was constantly trying to ditch us, like Kevin was ditched back in the first meet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe we have a Kevin. We have a Kevin. Oh, I love it. Of all the crazy things that has happened this week, this is like <laughs> the cherry popper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. That's oh, great. It's mm. fantastic. Now to see what Wish named her frog. Jumper? Hoppy? No, Wish named her frog. Frog. You, did, you knew that. I knew My that. Frog yeah. name is Frog. <laughs> I knew that. I was just trying to get you to see except, if anybody else would react. Except, except, um, and, except, Kermit. <laughs> a frog, frog now has two little hats. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Frog One has a, flower, a tiny little right? miner's hat, and Frog has a mini, whatever that thing that Peter used to wear hat. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, the hat that I stole. Mm -hmm. So, Frog is a small version of that as well. A white brimmed cat. cat. A white brimmed cat. Yeah, that thing. And yep. so, uh, oh, when it comes <laughs> to that gold, was it per person, or we found that all together on the 350? I actually just answered that in chat. Oh. oh. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh, so, um, for my alchemy, it's just a pure wisdom. Um, usually wisdom pro with proficiency, if you're proficient in it, or, um, it's a plus whatever with the toolkits, plus but, um, I, do you happen to have an alchemy kit on you? I mm -hmm. took Peter's. Oh, you're using Peter's kit. <laughs> Everybody's taking Peter's stuff. <laughs> He's happy to share. Yes. We we use his body as well when we smelt things know. down, so it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Peter. <laughs> Fine. I don't Peter remember. So I know long. my role. I know my role. <laughs> You're our mobile forge. It's oh, fantastic. No. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I, oh, you guys no. only got him just a regular alchemy kit. There's regular. nothing special about it, so it's a plus two. Plus two. For using that kit. That's that's okay. regular. That's awesome. So it's a wisdom plus two, oh, wisdom unless plus you two. have alchemy as a proficiency, and then you get to add your proficiency modifier on it. I've been reading up on alchemy books. I've been studying the alchemy textbook for every night. So but you haven't practiced it just, it just yet. Yeah. Okay. You're getting there. You're closer than uh, Peter is. You're closer than Mm -hmm. 17 plus yeah. 2, 19. Nice. Yeah, so yeah by the way, Solaris is going to hand in his old equipment that he hasn't gotten the chance to sell out since even the tournament. The uh, All the stuff that he's carried that he would want to sell, try to sell it in the tournament but didn't have the time. And give it to Peter because it rusted so. 
He wants what something is- cooked. <laughs> what is Peter's role? <laughs> he does everything now. If you need mending, you can also come to Ethan. Oh snap, you got mending? Yeah. Yeah, he gives you the armor while he gives Peter the sword. And then he says, because you guys are using magic, I'm going to look away. And that's it. <laughs> Is it possible to make the armor poisonous? No poison! And he walks off. <laughs> yeah, fun. Fun. Do I get anything from my roll, though? You do. I'm trying to awesome. uh, pull it up for you. <laughs> Okay. I also want to focus later on on healing potions. Oh yeah, how does the group respond to what I just told them about Talos? Oh right, I'll kind of check on the thing on the core. Yeah, the crystal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what did you say? What it did you say about Talos? definitely magical. Yeah, you, you don't have identify. Okay, mm-hmm. I added an item to your inventory. I added... Yay. Am I able to find out a bit more about the... Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I was working on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's definitely magical. Um, it's definitely you do magical. find that you have the knowledge and experience on how to activate knowledge. the magical enchant. Magical um, enchant. It's up uh, to you if you want to do it. It doesn't look cursed at this time, but you're not 100% sure what it will do. Um, it seems to cast some form of an illusion. All right. Also, Solaris is going to talk to Mitsu and say, hey, do you know any way you could track Talos with this? And I show her the hand. I can certainly try. And I actually, if I remember correctly, I do have plus one. I believe I have dwarves on my favored. Yep. Yeah, we can go check it out. Nice. She has dwarves on her favorites now? Oh yeah, elves and dwarves. Favorite um, in my Yeah, in Solaris's mind, he's saying, wow, he she really hates Taylor. It, well, it's drows and dwarves that we're fighting. So it's not just because of Talos. So Because I've let the little bugger so, live each time. You guys here... From coming out of one of the buildings. Coming out of the buildings. <clears throat> Talos's voice. <laughs> you guys thought you were so tricksy. You came here. I got here first. And you hear a lot of thwoop, thwoop, sound of arrows just flying through the air. Deflect missiles. You don't see any arrows. You just hear the sounds. Wait, what? What oh. happened? Sorry, I was away. I was saying Telos. You hear Telos' voice coming out of one of the buildings. Ethan. Who hears it? Everybody but you, technically. You you, you hear it, but you, as you go inside the building to activate the uh, crystal, happen to see an image of Telos appear. And he starts, laughing, he starts laughing, and he's pointing. It takes a little while. Next thing you know, he raises a bow, and it points he downward. And he lo- appears to be shooting arrows towards the ground. And then you see he, he it looks like he, he just jumps up in like the air and starts to run away. Jumps up and, and through the wall. Solaris yells, Whoop! And the next thing you guys see is a flying um, Telos fly through the wall and then fall to the ground and disappear. Ethan, on the other hand, is still holding the orb. Do I see anything around Telos as well? Do I recognize that he's into the inside the camp or not inside the camp? You... You recognize that the entire thing was an illusion. Illusion. 
Okay. When you activated the orb, it replayed what Telos did in the battle. Including the fall and the split. Yep. Hmm. Ethan B. Ethan is just gonna think he's gonna shrug it off and get somebody to heal him again, so. I mean, he died twice. You also f have a feeling that there was more within the illusion that you didn't play far enough back. It'll take a little bit of experimenting to play with, but there's something else there. Something that happened before you guys showed up. Okay. So we're going to have group movie time. Okay. Um, I guess as you try to explain to everybody what happened, you go to try to rewind the thing and figure out how to replay it. And you guys play from the beginning. And Telos looks very panicked and crouched down to the ground. He says, help me, help me everyone. You are my only hope. I'm sorry I attacked you all in the past. There's this evil mage that we found when we were down in that dwarven city. He cast the spell upon me, affected my brain, and the pains got worse and worse the longer I took to do as it asked. And what he wanted me to do was not necessarily kill all of you, but he wanted me to kidnap innocent people. And I'm afraid I had to provoke you now because the pain was getting too immense. I didn't bring them what they wanted. He wouldn't remove the spell. And I needed a way out. I hope by seeing this you understand that I was forced to be such an evil tyrant. If you don't, I understand as well. There's a special gift for you if you can make it to... Uh, to this location and it pops up on a map it's this in this small desert area at the or inside of Nahim just this tiny little icon pops up and then he looks at you all again he goes thank you everyone you're my only hope and then it starts replaying him back on that castle top being evil and attacking you all Hmm. Insight? On a video? Go ahead. <laughs> you can watch it as many times as you want. So, um, you, see, you saw definite straight terror in his face. Something was going on, but because it seemed to be played really close to the battle of you guys coming in and starting to kill people... I mean, maybe you think he, he was scared of you. Maybe he was scared of dying. He was definitely scared of something in this video. So Loris is just going to say, so guys, uh, trap or do you think he was really genuine? Which kind of is why I wanted to let him live, but... Turns to Sohani. Um, you can revive people, can't you? Sohani says, uh, oh, well, if they've died within the last minute, yeah, but he's been gone yeah, now for a couple of hours, and he doesn't really have much of a body left. Can I <laughs> he comes back see his hand. bones? <laughs> do a resurrection and just have him live? the hand. <laughs> it's fake! That's how it comes into existence! It's fucking... Oh, oh my no. gosh. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's gonna be like you turn the hand sideways and make him... I don't know. <laughs> and like it's working. Hey, so it will flip us off. <laughs> Only to flip this off. Oh. 
Under close inspection, <laughs> the show does happen, happen to see happen. that the hand is making the bird symbol, as well as it doesn't look dwarven. It looks kind of goblin. Goblin. Mm. Like how Talos was in the past? Maybe. Yeah. About the same skin color. Same skin color. Hmm. Can't change your fate, Clint, apparently. Can we please have this be Talos' fate? <laughs> <laughs> that he turns into a goblin without a hand? No, that it's just the hand, and he can... <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, he's gonna try and collect his boys. <laughs> he dodged the hand. He became the dodge he once dodged, or he became the hands he once dodged. There we go. Yes, he became the he became the very thing he swore to destroy. Well, you do have a necromancer on your team now, right? <laughs> Don't touch my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling Did you. Did you lend us a hand? <laughs> uh, oh my god. Sorry, only Ethan can only lend his fingers. Oh. <laughs> oh, but we wanna ha we want you to lend us Talos' hand. So just <laughs> round of applause for all of you who've tried. Okay. Since there's no <sighs> hand jokes, we can all mm -hmm. go. <laughs> I, well, we've kind of yeah. laid them out a lot. Yeah, no. we've, we've done so many. It's Peter's <laughs> fault. What? Ow. The last time was totally your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me doing it all. It... On the other hand, Sulfur makes a great <laughs> goblin, just saying. <laughs> oh my God. I do. I ain't gonna say that, but I'm gonna accept it. <laughs> I miss BB. Oh, BB was so fun. BB was so fun. Yeah. We could do a goblin one shot somewhere. Oh, that'll be fun. Could be. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. Peter, you're in charge of a mm -hmm. goblin one shot. Next. Oh. Well. <laughs> I'm gonna do a history. <laughs> See if I remember that thing that David gave me. Is that a high enough PC? <laughs> uh, n no. Uh, it's actually pretty low. No. It's straight 13. But, uh, you're good. Now okay. you remember that you have the scroll in your hand. Okay. Or oh, on your back okay. or wherever you put oh. it. All right, I'm going to take this out and say, well, this might be a good time as any since we've got a good time. And I'm going to check what is in the scroll and see what David had for us. Okay. The first thing you see is it's basically a large map. It looks very similar to the one you've already seen in the past or own yourselves. But now there's these little icons all over the map. Uh, it looks like there's one in every country that that's here. And there's a small note that goes with it and says, on this map, I've marked the locations of Elder Dragons. And we believe that the destruction of these particular dragons will end the fate that is cursed upon this land. We do know that there are multiple groups of people trying to work with you. But if we can kill these dragons at these locations, the, the mist will not consume us. We have six months remaining. Hmm. It is what? Is Peter showing this to us, or is it just yeah. for his own eye? Uh, showing... The note he probably uh, told you all about. No. Mm -hmm. Showing everything. Okay. So Loris is going to go make more bolas. Yay! So, DM, if you could just add, like, the 44 gold and 35 silver to Grim and Hani's character sheet. Hopefully. Oh, wait. Okay. I'll add it to mine as well. Um, where's Grim? How much 
was that? We were surrounded by wood. What are you talking Oh, it was a uh, 44 gold, 35 silver. You were surrounded by wood that got burned down. Not all of it. Not all of it. He I saw gates. They were the touched. Next I was level I get, I will be able to have identify. Woo! Hmm. There it is, Graham. And why does he need wood for bolos? Uh, he doesn't. I just pointed that out because I could. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. Speaking Grim of which, rich. there's a well here, right? right? Well. Yeah, Grim is so rich. It's because Shigan gave all the money to Grim and he didn't pass it around. <laughs> yep. Anyway, yeah, so now every all the battle's done, right? There is a well inside there. Is the well water clean? I know where this is going. Yes. Yes. Everybody's yeah. gonna take a bath. Yeah. It's not a church. <laughs> <laughs> I have soap. I have moon juice. I have all the stuff we need. We are going to have a bath. We are going to be clean of blood. And so is Minus Jump. the moon juice, please. Fine. No moon juice for Solo, but... Bar of soap. Are you going to have the in the well? I'll take, I'll take the bar of soap. I don't want the moon juice. I don't trust that shit. Do you What's pour the moon, moon juice, juice again? in the well, or do you wait for them to pull water out and then pour it in? You don't I want it for them to taint. pour water out. <laughs> What's the moon juice again? It's what turns Solaris into a woman. No, oh. it Rengar. purifies water. It purifies water. It does purify okay. water. And it turns also does. If used in <laughs> that was excess, then it does other effects too. Other effects. Oh, so what was the thing that Solaris jumped into and he turned into a woman? A lot of moon juice. A lot of moon juice. <laughs> a lot of moon juice. Okay. Yeah, he's still not touching it. Moon juice. Yeah, I don't think I've been yeah, turned I at all. I I think I fell in it once, but it didn't do anything to me, so it worked out. I remember what I... Okay, so if nobody wants the moon juice, Ethan's not going to use it, because he'll keep it in case you need it. Everybody else, though, bar of soap. I'll okay, take so the bar of soap. I'm okay with that. <laughs> How are we all, Do we just, like, kind of make up? A divot in the ground or something? Grim refuses the bar of soap. <laughs> like, how does this work? Mud. <laughs> where, are we, where are we having this bath? Because it's like a pretty deep well and like. Probably more really of a shower. Deep. Yeah. Like dump water on us. It's a sponge bath. Mm. It off. Essentially, yeah. I can heat up the water. <laughs> yes, he could. Oh, and actually, we all could. There's still fire everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, there is. Everything's on Can fire. we just kind of extinguish it? Not anymore. Ethan is cleaning up. Okay, this place is going to be sipping and spent. Can we extinguish the fire, guys? It, it's a little press, big press, now. Press, 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 Can we press, sit and eat for a minute? Like, I, I would really like to try and get some health back. As everything burns down around us. As everything so Loris has not been hit, and he's just saying, Yes! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, sorry, guys, but yes. <laughs> oh yeah. See everybody else is blood all over them, like <laughs> bruises, cuts, uh, and nicks everywhere. This is the closest I've come to dying. I'm Wait, I take it back. I think I've been. I, I think I've fallen unconscious once in the mirrors. Should do it again. Nah, nah, I'm good. That that came pretty close to the second time. We're we're good. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so you're all getting baths. Um, Ethan specifically finds pieces of cloth and rips them up and says, or takes a helmet full of this freshly heated water, hands you each a helmet full of water and says, "Here's a sponge bath," and tries to assist you with it. Of course, some of you probably turn him away. But you were all also cleaning up Chubbs. Chubbs is not going to be the only person who's not clean. Fair enough. Grim <laughs> is hiding from you. Yeah, because that stopped him before. And rolling in the mud. I can sit Kevin on him. I, I can sit Kevin on him. 
love it, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if that would stop Grim from rolling sure in the mud. Would stop. Honestly, can we cast a sleep on him? I don't have mm. sleep, unfortunately. Mm. Oh, you got rid of it. Got rid of it. All right. All right. So everybody but Grim got clean. So everybody but they all got rested, at least a short rest. rest. Wait, no, Grim will get clean too. Remember when Ethan asked Grim, he generally says okay. It's true. You're right, he did. Would normally say that, but now he's a vampire and he made up an excuse where he needs he to um go find something no. to eat and he grabs Peter's hand and walks off. Oh god, another marriage. Can I pause Peter he runs away from me into the water? You can certainly try. <laughs> Grim would listen to him even after becoming a vampire, and you know it. So I know. Also, you know, Ethan is going to follow Grim to find food because he wants to study all of it. <laughs> okay, so Grim is uh, <laughs> actually going to give a <clears throat> persuasive speech to Ethan and says, "Ethan, look." Being dirty will help me hide in the forest better. Therefore, I can't be clean. He's a high elf. <laughs> that would not work. It would now that he's Stop a vampire. It. But no, it doesn't. He's sparkly. Remember, it didn't isn't that what everyone established last time? Nope. That he's the Twilight vampire, whereas <laughs> Peter is not. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 So I remember this. A hundred percent. Just because you guys put glitter on him does not mean he actually sparkles. Well, think about it this way. You know how hard it is to get rid of glitter? If you actually do dump it on him. <laughs> and he doesn't take a bath. <laughs> he doesn't take a bath. Yes, yeah, so he's for life. <laughs> we will see him always. He cannot hide in the woods, so his supposed argument is invalid. He's not talking to you. He's in talking to Ethan. <laughs> Even in the light, he would still be spiky. Oh, Even I mean... in the moonlight, he will still be spiky. Oh, Even in the firelight, he will still be spiky. Let him, like, climb up a tree and he'll be sparkly. He can't hide in the woods. This it's is not gonna happen. talking. Ha! No. He does nothing. Alright, just because Ethan doesn't believe him doesn't mean Ethan's not... Or is gonna tell him no. Ethan, what do you say? Ethan's personality... Oh no! Oh no, Reggie! Reggie! <laughs> what? Ethan's gonna talk oh. about how important it is to stay clean and about standards and oh also all of the stuff. <laughs> Rango, you're now fired. Now you're a vampire, you need to take care of yourself more often, too. <laughs> He says, fine, Ethan, I'll do it this once, but I need to stay dirty. And he takes his bath. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying that that, that is Ethan right there. Right. That is not is Ethan or is it Grim? Does it matter? Oh my gosh. So not Ethan. I'm a girl now, I'm a boy. <laughs> Glitter everywhere! <laughs> make it shine! Oh yeah, man, can I have a glitter attack? That would be great. <laughs> oh no! Color spray with is extra stuff? Fire Instead of fairy fire, it's glitter fire. Wow. <laughs> wow. Fairy glitter, uh-huh. Won't come off. <laughs> Oh, oh, he wants to be but a Twilight Vampire, that's so on him. Fine. It's so <laughs> fine. It's such fine glitter, you know it won't come off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. So we have roughly 15 minutes to the end of the game. Unless yes. we need to extend it. Mm -hmm. So I think Peter's going to so. need to get off, so... Mm. Is there anything specific you guys want to do, or is this a good time to end? Oh, should we head, oh, should we head back? Oh, okay, I wasn't sure if we're heading back to okay, get the reward from the bandit camp. So, Probably. Not sure. yeah. Sounds like we're not doing the merchant anymore, but we're going to continue on with what uh, David had said, right? The... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh. I told you we should have just oh, brought yeah. the merchant with us. It, 
you know, get two done at the same time, Maybe if he the merchant would have died. No. He Dragon's would have died completely. No. <laughs> there. I thought you guys would want to sleep after that uh, fight. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to sleep too, though. We should, well, I know, but if we're we heading back, sleep. we... Let's not sleep in an area that's currently on fire. Good luck finding There's yeah. a problem. <laughs> Nathan finds no problem yeah. with that. Like the castle. Mm -hmm. Very warm. So, Hani no, casts a spell the at the ground and creates flowers and crawls up on the flowers and says, Do you want one? Creates a second patch of flowers and set, pats on it and says, Here. And goes to sleep. Well, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> Alright, you have two sleeping right. druids. <laughs> All right, well, Solaris actually... is just gonna make bow losses. All right, you you successfully before the end of the night create two. Awesome, I got <laughs> four. By the way, uh, Peter has one and Wisp has one, mm -hmm. so I got four. Uh oh, Peter successfully one, speeds on Sohani when nobody's looking. Oh, okay. Sure. I'm joking. Has that was one, a what? joke. Yes. Of course. <laughs> 12 force damage to whoever wants it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I never got the DC for the Bolas. Like, is it D12? I will have to look it up. No problem. <laughs> oh, she has a Bolas. Yeah. A Bolo, uh... I'll give, uh... Throw and trip people up. Peter. I'll give Wisp mine. Yeah. I don't know who you want to feed off of for the night, if you even want to feed at all. That's up to you. You said 12 force damage. Yeah, I think I already, like, fed the beginning of the day. Yeah. So, I, w I mean... So, that was more of a joke. <laughs> I, I figured as much. But if you want to make it a thing, you can offer it to the team. I'll just I, sleep. I think Solaris <laughs> will be, uh, you know, more than cooperative. He won't be awake for long. No. You. I think and he's considered humanoid, so it counts as good quality. That's and right. it's rare blood because it's in the room. I guess in terms of... Oh my... <laughs> I'm just saying, I only have 15 health. That would hurt. <laughs> Ethan, yeah, we'd like to know you, if you guys want to tie up Chubbs. You know, or if you're going to just let him go, because he's really trying to inch go. towards the door. He he proved his point. He gave us helpful information. We agreed to let him go. If he just wants to leave now, he's good for it. He takes Don't off. Don't turn him to Or you'll end up like him. Well, yeah. Like I said, I told him. Can't guarantee that this would be the same next time. See you on the other side again, and you're dead this time. Mm -hmm. there you go. So uh, everybody is like <laughs> dead, and Peter has to get fresh blood, right? Oh, oh no, yes. I've already eaten. And squidward. Oh, I'm made for tomorrow. Yes, oh, he yeah. needs fresh blood. Actually, before Chubbs leaves, he wants Chubbs to leaves. nod at Ethan and says, Thank you, Lass, for cleaning me up and helping my survival. I'll remember to let more of your kind in later. Uh, if you want, you can come with me. Mm. Um, I will need permission if I'm going to come with you. Um... Would you rather come with us instead? Ethan leaves the party. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're a team of eight that walked into, what, like, 15 bad guys-ish? Yeah, quite a few. We won, though. We, we were very much out of our element. We should not have fought, but we did. Because we're not... To be fair, <sighs> all the dwarves were, uh... <clears throat> Level six fighters, I believe, and all of the wizards were necro or warlocks. Level six. Hmm. How many were there officially? Like honestly, 
I think there was five warlocks. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dwarves or something like that. So 16 level six. Yes. Plus Talos. Plus Talos. Who did the most? What level was he? He's like level nine. Exactly. (laughs) What? But we won. I I'm so, just saying so you are, you are actively <laughs> you're actively trying to kill us. And you guys always survive. <laughs> Out of <laughs> sheer <laughs> luck. <laughs> I mean, if we didn't actually work well as a team, I mean it was only technically seven of us fighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we we were down grim. So it was seven of us against seventeen Mobs. Yes, sixteen of them were only level six. <laughs> yeah, well, that uh, was fireball. Ethan there were more than twice as do, many as us. Ethan herself, himself, whatever, could probably do more AOE damage than he normally does. For instance, that fireball was not normal for Ethan, but is possible. On that same note, Salhani didn't end up doing all that much AOE damage because I'm not really aware of how to play Salhani the right way. And then all of you focused on Telos instead of, you know, the guys around you. So I didn't. There could have been a few different. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying you. I guess <laughs> there could have been a few different outcomes to this that you guys could have actually got away even better. Not to mention, I just pelted you guys with fireballs left and right. So yeah, you guys got hurt. Yeah. But we lived. That's <laughs> right. That's all that matters. You guys lived as a team. It's just- to the twi- to the flesh wound. Yep. It's not the point, though. It is Just the point. Saying. The point is, I- if it wasn't challenging, it wouldn't be fun. How many times? Let's see. Rengar went down. Hani went down. Peter went down. <laughs> Did Wisp go about- down? I'm trying to remember. I don't. Think <laughs> it's not about how many times you go down. It's how many times you stand back up. Miz almost went down. Camille was getting near the bottom. I was down to two health points myself. Like, Solo's the only one that got out of there unscathed. <laughs> He's like, what's going on, guys? <laughs> For the it's first like, time they're hitting forever. you? <laughs> I'm just saying. It's just... We, 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 we survived by the skin of our teeth. It was not pleasant. This is the just first time. He did multiple stab down. wounds. I kind of Arrows. just prepare you guys for a dragon attack, okay? The next dragon's going to be much harder than the first one. An ancient? Well, why you got to do that? Why you got to say ancient? Because he's, he's an Big ass sometimes. Words. I've already set you guys yeah. up to kill ancients. That's literally on your map now. Mm-hmm. To be honest, seeing that dracolage You're going to do a big swerve? You're going to be serving so hard. <laughs> yeah. This is our group. We swerve everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hopefully we don't swerve. Cause... The fastest way to a point is we're going that way, that way, that way, that way, oh, and over here and around. Oh, and then we'll back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Until the military starts ad- abducting starts. your entire team and forcing you with them to kill the next dragon. And you guys get to watch <laughs> as the entire military gets blown out of the way, and you're now there yourself to fight you're this dragon. I forgot to ask Chubbs more about the wizard school. Yeah, he's probably down the path quite oh, a ways. Yeah. He turned him down. He was a little heartbroken. I mean, if you want, you can get music to shoot him in the leg with an arrow, and that'll slow him down. And to your response of you're not a girl, he says that's okay. No, he did not say ways. that. He does not say that, but nice to know, but he does not say that. <laughs> he could take an arrow to the knee. Just give me a moment. I'll totally aim. <laughs> yes. On the day Grim was out there, Ethan suddenly got married. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost happened several times already. It's true. <clears throat> I, w- I would have needed to test out my new bola, so I would have thrown it at him. Oh, that would be much nicer than the arrow to the knee. Yeah. Yeah, but if you do the arrow, you'll remember this for the rest of his life. 
Mm -hmm. I we agreed to let him live. We don't know we how. We did bad not agree not, not to make him. But we don't know how much life is currently in him. We don't want him. We don't want him to remember us the way Talos remembers us. We weren't even that mean to Talos. So if we just kill him now, he won't. Have exactly. His Baggy. Down, Rangor. Go curl up in the corner. I'm just trying to help. No, you're not. <laughs> it's the opposite of help. No one wants that help. <laughs> oh, no. Got it. Oh, What'd you do? What? Talos? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. What happened? I played the Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack. <laughs> oh, I have that uh, cha or that uh, channel super muted, so I don't blame you. Oh, <laughs> I have it low, but it always starts loud. I don't know why. Mine's really quiet. I have it down so low that I can't hardly hear any of the songs. And this is a rather quiet song as it is. is Eddie's Teddy. Eddie's Teddy. Mm. So, so. <laughs> mm, guess I won't get the information then. Please. For shame, Ethan. you're just gonna have to go to the church, or I mean the the school. Mm. Well, Ethan doesn't. Oh wants to no! To so, what's Not your guys' next bad. destination after this? Destination. Go to town to turn back. things in. Back. Oh back. no! Back. And then we go. We can check where the escort mission is, but probably going to go to Brel, and since that's a long way down there, we can easily just go there as well. Rangor! So you were going to make your way towards uh, Perth and the Dragon Mountains? Yeah, because that's, that's the closest dragon. It is. Did we all rest? Uh, yes, we did a short rest. Did we actually long. do a long? You guys are camping the night, from what I'm told. Camping the night. <laughs> no, so Ethan's for not going to be like that. Ethan is going to turn more waifu. Mm. Give it a few more years. Give it a few more years. If well, Ethan goes anywhere in that direction, he'll be go waifu direction, not this direction. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how to cook. He knows this could be someone's wife. You don't know. He knows. <laughs> he has been propositioned many times. Up. Oh, he has. He doesn't know what it means. Mm -hmm. He still means wants to learn how to summon demons. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I think he knows how he, already. I'll be just asking him to go on an adventure, okay? Come with me. I want to go here. Oh, that's interesting, but I have my own mission. <laughs> All I have to do is be like, there's some cool magic over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. He did say that. He did say that. He's he did just not, not say going there. Magic in first. No, he said there was magic uh, at the school. Yeah, yeah. So Ethan wants to go to the school. He did tell you, that, well, the squirrel told you, Peter oh. told you, that there's a dragon near Perth, which means magic. Mm -hmm. But I think he wants to save the school since it's going to be destroyed. Yes. I'm pretty the sure books, Peter, Peter didn't say anything about the school. intelligent people. Was it referring to Peter? Was referring to the dwarf? Uh, the dwarf did say that you could go there because the school's going to die. That was up to you guys. You gave I us another side mission. What do you think we're going to do? I'm not sure. Time-sensitive side mission. <laughs> Yay! I, I honestly thought that's probably what we were going to do, is go save the school from burning down, then go to the dragon. Stop giving us side missions. We did not ask for it. Peter did. Uh, no. Did. No. Technically, I asked for information that would help us with to prevent the slavers, and he told us about a school being destroyed. Peter's been what? asking for side missions for a while now. Not just... Oh, I know, I that was... Uh, <laughs> <one flyer. laughs> 
It was the bandit camp. I'm just saying the school was not something Peter asked. Yeah. It was willingly offered by a bandit. I'm happy we finally got up and killed Talos. Hopefully. See, the world is becoming a better place already. Yes. We didn't kill Talos. <laughs> he is still alive. We should take okay. more side quests. Maybe it'll even be better. I mean, it's okay, only so six months. Okay, so uh, yeah. Everything's time sensitive. That's the problem. The thing Merchant is, like, is if, this, if the school is gone and the books are gone and the magic, everything is gone, then what even is the point? I mean, to be fair, if they don't have magical spells that put out fire, then they deserve it. <laughs> Who says it was fire, though? If it's burning down, I'm pretty sure it's not water that's, you know, drowning the place. Oh, did I manage to get a bone from Telos? <laughs> oh, do we only still have the hand? There's bones in the hand, sort of. They're kind of crushed and mangled, but they're there. <laughs> Take a seat. Okay. Cool. <laughs> bone dust. Yeah. You have Talos bone yeah. dust under your fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> that seems so morbid. <sighs> Except for you guys like Talos. Oh, yeah. I no have, one likes is, Talos. Is it possible to make so arsenic? Lois is okay with Talos. Arsenic. Yeah, Ethan does not want to kill Talos. Ethan just wants to make sure he's out of the picture. This may or disfigured. Weren't you the one that destroyed him? <laughs> Knocked him from yeah, the sky. Yeah, Ethan doesn't know that. <laughs> Ethan believes that people come back as per himself. <laughs> oh, that's fair. <laughs> we, but, <laughs> how many times has Ethan died? <laughs> Twice. Twice. Fully. Is it really... Only twelve, if only. <laughs> Ethan doesn't go down. The time he goes down is the time he dies. Dies. Yeah. yeah. At least we know. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So yeah, yeah. So as far as I, as far as Ethan knows, Telos is still alive. We're mm -hmm. just waiting. Or will at least come back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone will come and resurrect him. Having the bones and having something is important. Oh, no. oh yeah. No. <gasps> oh no. no. What? No. Uh, Discord. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Wow. So is this what happened to Grim after he became a vampire? You know he's all. <laughs> oh. Oh. Kind happened to oh, Peter at least. <laughs> <laughs> Grim and Ethan, I tried not to bring you back in. That's on Limosa. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, so I guess the who is who in this case? Which one is Peter? Oh, I, I, think, <laughs> I, I thought we established that uh I think that's uh oh, Grim flexing to Ethan. Look, Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> Just what he would do too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! As soon as you bring up Rocky Horror Picture Show in any form or fashion, like I'm going to just find nothing but gifts. <laughs> I bet <laughs> you did bring it around. Yeah, uh, you told him he was fired, and then gave him another job. So that's uh, on no. you. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! It totally meets Ethan. <laughs> I'm not so sure, but I might meet Peter too nowadays. No. <laughs> you need to stop throwing poor Peter under the Rocky Horror Show bus. <laughs> yeah, it is a horror show, isn't it? Yes. Amazing. I'm still confused, but who's vexing? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's trying to propose, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I keep on seeing that gif again and again, and it's just like flex, and then like flex, and then again like 